It just keeps getting easier and easier to build better looking power apps. Three new responsive and modern screen templates are just dropped for Canvas apps. So let's take a look at what they do. Now let's get this out of the way first. These screen templates are currently available in authoring version 3.24031.25. So if you don't know how to check your authoring version, you're going to go to your Power App in Edit Mode, click on the Settings menu, go over to the Support tab, and then you can see the authoring version here. If you don't have that authoring version, you can change your app to use that version so you can take advantage of these new modern templates just by clicking on this Edit button, and you'll get this drop down where you can change the version. So just click that, and then you can reload and apply that, and then you'll have access. Now to see these new screen templates, you'll click on the New Screen button in the Tree View, and here are the three new templates that we get. We have a welcome screen, a header and gallery, and an approval request. And these are in addition to the other responsive screen templates that we've already had for split screen, sidebar, and header and footer. So all these new templates will be responsive and they'll utilize modern controls. So let's take a look at each one of these. We'll start with the welcome screen. So since these are responsive, everything is in a container. So we have an initial container here and we have one for the header and one for the content here. The header is using the modern header control, which is completely customizable. So we can choose to hide the profile picture by toggling that on and off. We can choose to show and hide the logo image by toggling this on and off. And of course we can customize the text that shows by changing that here in the title property. It uses modern theming, so we can click on the base palette color and we can change the background color here, either by using a modern theme or by going to the custom and using any kind of color that we want from the color picker. Now the bulk of this is just a series of containers where you can customize and put in an image, a title, and a subtitle. So if you're wanting a landing page for your home screen, this could be a template that you might use for that. The next template is the header and gallery. So this is kind of similar to the welcome screen. It uses that same header control here, but instead of utilizing containers, it uses a gallery with a clickable button. So if you want to launch other applications or go into another screen, this is a good template for that as well. Really simple to customize. You would just change this, point it to your data and map your fields. And the last screen template that we have here is the approval request. This particular template is good if you want to show an item and see the history of an approval. So we'll see again, utilizing that same consistent header, but in the main container here on the left hand side, we have a form control and on the right hand side, we have a gallery. So this one is a little trickier to set up since there's a lot of moving parts. So I've already bound this to some data so you can see how it would actually look. So all I did to wire this up is in the form control in the data source, I bound it to my Dataverse table in this instance. And then on the item property, I pointed it to a specific item that I want to look up. And then I went through to the edit fields and I removed and added the fields that I want to show in the form. Now, key things on the data source that you'll notice is I have fields for approver, one, two, and three, and approver status, one, two, and three. So this is the data for this particular item that I'm going to use to show in this reviewers section. So now if we go to the reviewers section, we'll see I have this bound to a collection. So what this is showing us is the name of the person that we have as an approver. So we see approver one is Pam, two is Dwight, and three is Michael. So it's taking this data and is getting their name. And this colored circle control, if we look at it, is actually going and getting the status field from my data source. And it's checking to see what the status is and color coding this dynamically. So if it's approved, it'll be green. If it's pending, it'll be yellow. And if it's rejected, it will be red. And then if we look at that text that's showing in here, it's taking that status field and it's using the left function to get the first character. So an A for approved, R for reject, and P for pending. So now we can visually see where we're at with the approvals. Now to get this data though into the gallery, what I did is on the on visible of the screen, I just added in some power effects. So these are the fields that you'll need for this control. So I wanna pull this information from my form. So I'm using a function called with. And that's going to allow me to do a lookup to the item I wanna get one time. So I'm doing this lookup to pull this specific module in this case. And then I'm going to create a collection of the approval information that I can feed into that gallery. So the required fields are step. So where should it fall in that order? Then we'll have name, we have title, and I didn't really have anything to put in title. I didn't put their job title here. So you could just delete this and remove that from the gallery if you didn't want that information, or you could go call out and get someone's job title or whatever additional information you might want to show in that second line. Then we have the status, which we'll want to point to to get the relevant status, approved, rejected, or pending. And then finally, current. 
So this will be used to highlight where you are in the process. So right now they're all on true. So I'm gonna change these to false. And you'll see when I change that value, it updated the gallery. So the only one that is bold right now is the one that is marked current. So that's what that particular property is doing. And that's really all there is to it. There's a submit button so you can submit the form that's wired up already to have a submit form on the on select. And you're good to go with this nice approval view. So those are the screen templates and all of these, as I mentioned, are responsive. So if we were to play this, we know it looks good here on the desktop, but we can use our emulator here, change it to an iPhone, for example, and we see that it updates the display accordingly and makes it just a stacked view. And same thing if we were to change it to a tablet, it changes the formatting to respond to the device. So if you haven't already, check out these new screen templates and give them a try. Hopefully it'll save you time and make building power apps even easier. I'd love to know what you think about these new screen templates. And hey, if you have any ideas for templates that you'd like to see in product, drop a note in the comments and let me know. And I will try to build those and see if we can get those in the product eventually, who knows? Or at the very least, I'll add that as a sample into the Power Platform Samples repo so you can take advantage of that. So let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.